All right, guys, my name is Nikon Rozzy. This is my YouTube channel video. Uh, hit the sub, smash the sub. If you're coming from Pat's channel, you're like, why the f am I watching this kid? I like the Driven District. What the f is an icon? This is what the f an icon is, bro. Let me let me get into this. Let's uh first off, let's I'm gonna edit that because that, that made no sense. I just cool. Uh, my I'm name too. is Nikon. I drive a Fiat Spider Classica, not the Abart, but it is a manual. And uh, this is Pat from Driven District. I'm very fortunate to have him on my channel. Be sure to please check out the part one that's on his channel because we go through a lot about who Pat is, who I am, and we get to learn a lot about certain experiences that Pat had. Like this guy used to own a supercharged 500 horsepower uh, E40. What was it? Not E40. E92. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. M3. He had like two Evos and, and he's had an S2000 and, and he agrees the Spider's the best one. And he's had a Golf R. So <laughs> ben, Brennan, Reeves, you guys are haters. My car's better than yours. Done. Um, <laughs> had to put that in there. Those are my, those are the people that I, I kind of know. Um, no, but, but thanks for being on. Uh, and, and let me have you just kind of talk a little bit about your car and where you're at. Well, yeah, we were talking about performance mods we're going over. So wait, well, what car do you have? A 2017? So you have a 2017 Sorry, Fiat 124 Spider Abarth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, 2017. In black. In black. With the LED light package. With the visibility package, which you have to go for. I think the, do yours have it? I forget. Do you, no, right? No, unless you go to Luso. Luso is where it comes with okay. the light. Okay, it's not even an option in the Classica. I forget. Is it not no. even? Oh, okay. No, dude. My, yeah, the, I I bought mine from a dealership. There's only two Classicas, and all the Abarts and Lusos were automatics. So that's where okay. I was. I didn't want to so, wait yeah, for. No, it's just a 2017, and uh, starting to mod it real quick, like within the first yeah. month. Dude, before I had the car, I already bought mods. Believe it or not, <laughs> I no, swear wait. to God. Before I bought the car, I already got some mods that were incoming for the car. That's how like point, does your girlfriend or anyone around you be like, hey man, Pat, I think we need to have a talk about this. Like you're crazy, man. Yeah. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> how did but, you, you know, let me get personal here because this is what my right, channel's real, about. Real, real quick talking about Oh, sorry, that, my, you want to talk girlfriend... about your car. Okay. No, no, real quick. My girlfriend loves tattoos. So she has tattoos. Those are thousands of dollars. I let her buy her thousand dollar tattoos, and she allows me to buy thousands of dollars worth of car parts. Do you have a tattoo? We're happy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I don't believe it or not. I, I don't either. That. That's cool. I don't like. I've always. I'm not anti-tattoo. My girlfriend has right. a ton. But it's like, why would you put? Stuff. Why would you put like a sticker on a Ferrari? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to say this joke. I'm saying it wrong. It was from. Now I'm blanking on his name. Uh, Sebastian. He's like an Italian comedian. Sebastian. Oh, yes. I know who you're talking about. He's funny. He yeah, said yeah. something about how you don't put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari. People ask me all the time, Sebastian, why, why don't you have you? Why don't you get a tattoo? I go, huh? I don't put bumper stickers on Ferraris. <laughs> you're saying like that's why he doesn't have tattoos because he's a okay, Ferrari. I, I don't know that analogy, but I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not making it make sense, but no, that's cool, man. Um, I don't know where I was even going. Why was I going to ask about you? Okay, so you got a cool car. Let's just get with the car stuff. This is what it's about. You're in Jersey, East Coast. You've you've owned an Evo. You've made Evos make how much over how much horsepower in tunes? What like uh, 473 to the wheels was the quickest Evo. I'm just trying to say all this so people get an understanding. Like you're yeah, not like I said, so first video we're gonna go over all that. So definitely that's true. That you should have watched the first yeah. video. Just watch the first one, then come back here. Let's go into performance. Uh, first, let's talk about what we currently have, and that's gonna be tough because there's so many things we've done to our cars. Yeah. Uh, and then our our future plans. So, uh, I'm gonna start. Mm -hmm. uh, I currently went. I went with Torque Motorsports. Big shock there. Everyone on this channel knows that. A um, couple things. Torque Motorsports uh, does not leave you high and dry. They do get back to you. I don't know what they're compared to, like Euro Compulsion Speedback, but I can tell you that, like, some of those rumors, like, look, me and Pat don't care about the. He's going to tell you good yeah. things about and, and honest things about Euro. I tell you what I've experienced with Torque. Currently, I got a stage zero tune on the car. I got pops and gurgles, but I have it set to be after 4,000 RPM. <laughs> Uh, 
Pretty I don't cool. have a sport mode with the Classica. And the biggest thing I'm noticing with my Fiat is that this is where um, most people might get a boost pedal to get a sharper mm. throttle response if you don't have a sport mode, because that's something that your car does, the Abarth modes. They have a, you know, with my 500, that sport mode just makes the, whether placebo or not, or it's not placebo, but gimmicky yeah. or not, it makes the throttle quicker. It makes everything the power louder. So um, what John at Torque Motorsports told me he could do is he could make, instead of me buying a boost pedal, he could actually tune in the throttle to be more sensitive and give Perfect. me that type of, of feel. So my plan for the future right now, get a torque front mount intercooler, leave the tube stock, just try to get that stage, what he calls it, one plus tune. It's not officially out yet, but <laughs> Pat giggles because your compulsion is an it's opera confusing. plus. Zero, Listen, one, no. one plus. It means you're special, okay? If you were special, you're always be giving you their plus tunes, but you're not special, Pat. <laughs> With your guitars and your Marilyn Monroe background and your cool dog and everything and Mr. Cool Guy over here. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> It just goes from zero to a hundred. People are like, where are you at? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Eventually I do want to go stuff turbo. And because I have a lot of E85 near me, um, shout out to JTS Motorsports. This guy apparently is like a guru in building Fiat. He's close to me. I might try to go back with the Springs, which cost me my, cost me three engines ago and also try to do E85. But, but right now performance, I want to do the stage one plus tune, an intercooler, Maybe a cold air, but I mean, I, I'm iffy on those for, for torque. You don't really need to do all that kind of stuff. So that's where I'm at. That's what I'd like to do and have a video on those. Let's talk about, about real Pat? quick. Let's talk about what you have on the car. Like, uh, you oh, currently shoot. have, like you have Kone, okay. what, Koenig, uh, what are they called? Oh, we're talking about everything performance or do we want to talk about? Oh, we have. Oh, okay, you know what? No, here, funny, you know, I'm, I'm thinking performance because I literally no, the right. bath wheels are so heavy. I have a performance here's what we'll do. on my panel here's, with. Here's what we'll do. When we talk about the handling stuff, we can talk okay. about what we have and then comfort. Sounds no, good. you're right. I, I, I'm breaking it no, up. It's all good. We'll do that. So for me, like you know, wait, but I, I need to talk about what I did to my engine. Go ahead. I put a diverter valve and a K and N filter. Oh. That's it. That's it. Oh. All right, you go, Pat. That's all right. All right. That's it. That's so, all I got. Since we're not going in order, because the first thing I did was honestly the wheels. We'll go. We'll save that for later. But performance yeah, wise, we'll my order, Pat. Yeah, performance wise, I uh, in the beginning I just did my research. Like I said, I've nothing against torque because I've never interacted with them. I just did some research. Heard a couple people say this. Heard a couple people say that. Nikon is the perfect example of torque is great. And like I said, I have nothing against them. I just went with Euro Compulsion. And that's the beauty. He went with Torque. He was happy. I went with Euro Compulsion. I was happy. And, and things can change. I'm not, I'm not riding Torques. Yeah. You know, if something happens I don't like, I'll put it out. Same with Euro yeah. Compulsion. Maybe I'll switch to Euro Compulsion. Maybe you'll switch to Torque. Like, this is not a uh, set in stone type of deal. We're, yeah, we're going to be so, honest about everything. Yeah. So I went with Euro Compulsion. I did a full, one of the things that I did, it was a little pricey, but I really wanted to get it, was the full Ragazon exhaust system for the Abarth. Now their Abarth exhaust is actually different than like, for example, yours, a classic model, because the Abarth is 2.75 inches piping or 70 millimeters where the normal one isn't. That was one big thing that I liked that entire from downpipe. It's a high flow catted downpipe, cross pipe, mid pipe, axle back, complete 2.75. Plus the fact that the axle back is a valve system. So I went with that for the intake. I went with the Euro Compulsion V4. For the um, upgraded blow off valve, it's a forge atmospheric and a forge wastegate actuator. Which is really nice. I think I might go with forge in the wastegate too. Yeah, they make it some might, good. I know yeah. they're both smart or forge, but I just went forge and I've been happy with them. You know, I had to tweak it a little bit. I did have issues with both the wastegate and That's the blow off That's what I was like. I'm not getting in this. I had some way. issues, but Euro Compulsion, I was able, I shot them some videos. They heard That's the good. sound and they said, do this, do that. And now it feels fine. And then it's running the, uh, what is it? Phase one tune right now, which is their start. No, no plus? Yeah, no plus. <laughs> no plus, <laughs> no 1.5, no two and a half. So it's a one. Quarter, quarter plus minus. <laughs> I still have the factory intercooler. So I'm. Me see, too. I bet, usually I go like from stock to like, like my Golf R, stock to completely stage two bolt on. Basically, as far as you can go before a new, an upgraded turbo. I didn't want to do that with this car. I wanted to like try to enjoy the mods, which I usually don't do. Right. So um, phase also one. Also see if you can even get it that far. I haven't seen a lot of people be vocal about going stage three and stuff turbos. Those people are pretty quiet with those Fiats. They're, they're out there, but yeah, like, like I haven't seen a lot of how-tos on the Fiats. 
Yeah. What, it, what happens when you do until, that stuff? I'm going to probably wait until spring and then probably get a front mount intercooler and go phase two. Okay. And then, uh, that's still a pretty good pace. That's not slow. That's just yeah. like allowing more time to critically evaluate yeah. stuff and give feedback to people. Online. Yeah. Cause you know me, you know me, you saw my videos. I'm sure some viewers have seen, I have a ton of like statistical data. I love numbers and everything. Keep going, so, Pat. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that as I go to phase two. Uh, so I'm going to try to enjoy phase two for a certain amount of time, get some data and all that. And then depending on the hero how compulsion I'm started honking outside my door. Cause they thought I was going <laughs> to say something bad. I don't know. They came after me with their lawyers and stuff. Huh? <laughs> I think then, John yeah, Bushman's gonna... outside your door right now, dude. Like he came mm -hmm. down from Washington. They're whole. Leaving those comments, you know, but, uh, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll wait until, uh, eventually. Yeah, definitely. Go yeah, with stuff about phase three. Tori's going to comment on my videos and say I'm amazing one, one of these days, hopefully. I don't know. But, but, um, so I got you back. I, I interrupted I you, but yours. I forgot to say that I have a high flow downpipe and I got like a $230. My exhaust system was $230. I, I didn't do a cross pipe, but I have three inch pipes. Yours are four inch pipes. Mine's about as big as you can put quad tips on the back of a yeah. Classica. They made a Y pipe and I got the torque downpipe, which is three inches. But it, yeah, I might have to, I might want to mess with a cross piper. I'm thinking of going to like an exhaust shop and having them maybe build a whole, because the problem I have with cross pipes is like a lot of them, you got to buy the whole system. You can't just buy they a They might Ragazone. not connect properly or whatever. Is that what you're saying? Maybe like, I could, yeah, maybe I could buy a, a cross pipe from Ragazone and then have an exhaust pot, uh, exhaust shop make the rest of it or do something crazy maybe down the line. Yeah, you know, you, got, you might need a connector. I think you said your downpipe is three. So like. You'll figure three it out. Inch. I don't know, but it goes to stock somehow. I don't know what the what the Us? deal is. Oh, okay. It says we'll three inch down, but I don't know, man. Eh. Whatever, dude. Did you right. finish your performance stuff? I think so. I think that's it for performance. Okay. Yeah, you know. Unless you let's let get into handling. How about how about the stubby antenna? How much does that add? <laughs> Dude, people on the on the Facebook forum say that the stubby antenna is dumb, and they like the classic look of a long antenna. Dude, <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Um, let's, let's talk about well, handling. So that's something that I got to go further in, but I am happy with my wheel setup. I got 17 by eight Koenig hypergrams. They're lighter. I got 225, uh, 45 sidewall. How does it go? 225, 45, 17. So it's got two, mm -hmm. 225 wide, 45 yep. thick sidewall. Downside is my speedometer is big time off. When I'm going 80, I might be going really 87. It's off by that much. So it kind of sucks. I need to get a tune or, or take it to the dealer or see if they can, they can definitely adjust the wheel size. That's gotta be something Somehow America's, or whatever. America's tires. Like we don't deal with that stuff, but <laughs> the homies hooked me up with a good tire deal and I got those summer tire continentals. So I'm very grippy grip side. were great downsides. Now is open diff. I can feel the open diff letting me down when I'm going through tight turns and I feel the grip and like it almost like shakes and vibrates. Like it's gripping really hard. I think if I had LSD, that's where one wheel might want to slip or it might know how to give power better, but not a big deal either. I think the biggest thing I need to do for handling is sway bars. Cause I hear that that really helps with the, um, the shakiness of the car. People say sway bars and the spiders make it like, more yeah, that's down. something I'm thinking about getting. Yeah. Uh, another mm -hmm. thing that I don't have that you have is, is a strut tower brace. I might want to get one. Goodwin Racing has a great Cusco system, but it's pretty pricey. Um, I might want to go with the Megan Racing one because it's like 60 bucks instead. Oh, they make parts for our car? I've heard of that brand from back in the day when I had my Evos. I didn't know they, they made parts. They did, but then they stopped. And like right now on Megan, Megan Racing's website, they don't have the front and rear struts. They don't have anything. But then on another website they, where they're still making them, they have the front one. They used to make a rear one. It's kind of weird. Right. No, I've heard of their um, stuff. Their stuff is like pretty yeah. decent. I've, I've heard quality for the price. It's really good. No, it is. And, and the last thing I really do want to do too, but this is more of a future because I, I think I'm going to go crazy when I do this mod is for coilovers. I looked at those stupid Olin dual dampening ones. I I've feel like this. maybe that'll be where I would go with because I hear that they're also very more comfortable compared to a KW's. Um, I, and I'm just going off a of good one racing cause they, cause they know their stuff. So yeah. I think I might want to do coilovers too, just to really lock everything down. But for right now, I did the thing most people don't do. I have lowering springs on, uh, that were designed for my, for my, Which, is it the one from, I forget. Is it the one from Goodwin? It's from Goodwin. It, it's the progressives. Okay. At the time I ordered, they had two, they had one for classicas and one for the Abarts. Cause the great thing about you is you already have Bill Stein dampers. You can yeah, just yeah. put stiffer, lower springs and you can have a really good setup there with that. Yeah. All right. 
So now let's go to you with, right, with yeah. your handling. You already got an LSD and you live in yeah. Jersey. Do you think about handling? You can't really do summer tires unless you get two. Like, what's your whole, what do you I'll think probably, about? Yeah, yeah. So right now I went with the Eibach Springs, which yes. is uh, not as aggressive as some others. The roads here are pretty <laughs> Jersey, New York in this area. So the Eibach is not as aggressive as like h and I even think yours, I believe, is a much lower drop, I think. Um, Possibly. Yeah, it's not too crazy. I did it pretty recently after I got the car. So I can't speak about like the difference of stock to now, but I can say that right now the car feels great. Car drives great. It feels great handling. Everything feels great about it. Um, as far as suspension, yeah, that's it. I didn't do nothing else for like handling wise, but I did let go of the stupid heavy factory Abarth wheels. They are like ridiculously yeah. heavy. They're 22 pounds. Wow. Heavy. I went with, uh, the bronze, matte bronze, OZ Ultra Legetta. Those and you made in. a video about the wheels and oh, what difference yeah, the wheel does with acceleration. That'll yeah. be linked below. Check out Pat's wheel comparison review. He also has got tune comparison reviews, but yeah, because we're propulsion. Things- we can't promote that here. <laughs> so can I'm joking. Lightweight wheels is like you probably seen this all over the internet. It's like, oh, unsprung weight. Oh, one pound of unsprung equals three and a half. But your video made it no, so clear. No- and I'm like, you know what? Like, honestly, I don't know, nor do I really care the exact correlation. I just want to know what the numbers are. Give me like the hard numbers. Does it improve acceleration? Like we know it helps handling and this and that just from a lot of people know that, but I wanted to know like acceleration. So I did some acceleration pulls and yeah, like I said, there's a video below, check that out. But basically I was able to drop six pounds per wheel from going from the Abarth to the OZ Ultra Legetta wheels. I don't know what's going on. They're like, they turned the water off. And then like my toilet was making a weird sound because they're doing construction work at this house. I missed the part where that's my problem. Oh uh, yeah, man. I agree with everything you're saying about unsprung weight. I totally was listening. Uh, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on. I'm still on the factory. I'm still on the factory rubber. Oh, you're I'm still rubber. talking. Oh, okay. You're on I'm the factory, on the factory tire rubber. rubber. I'm still on the factory tires because also the, the wheels I got are 17 by seven. I wish they had eights like you yeah so in the future i gotta see how wide of a tire i can get here's on the weird way. thing though so it's still you know that, 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 that that's true um but here's a weird thing with with these cars i don't know the the right word but when you even go with 17 by nines or eights like the width it's wider but it goes more inward it doesn't really go outward so regardless if you want a better flush yes you could put bigger wider wheels on with the wider tire but people do spacers because somehow even if you go wider it, it doesn't come out so much here it goes out more inward i don't know how to explain it it's, it's like that's that's the offset the offset yeah. is gonna yeah the offset like some people like back in the day people used to get the <laughs> wheels with the big <laughs> lips on them yes or vice versa you can get a wheel that comes out and boom you know curves inward or whatever yeah I like that style now, the in, not the big lip, but it just curves in. And the offset has a lot to do with that. So, for example, oh. mine, I forget what the stock factory of Barth offset is. I want to say it's like 40, 30. I forget. Whatever. If you go, if you go lower, it pushes it out, I think. All I okay. do remember is my OZs with the offset, although they're 17 by 7, pushes yeah. it out more. Right. I do have a set of spacers that they're not on yet that I might do to kind of give it a little more of a flush. Oh, you do have spacers. Not installed. Oh, okay, I but you have them though. That's nice. I have them. I don't know. Again, we can get into it more. Basically, I didn't want to get longer studs and this and that. So I bought like literally five millimeter spacers. It's really small. But yeah. five millimeters with my OZ wheels might be comparable to like, I think 13 or a 15 millimeter spacer on okay. factory wheels because of the offset on the OZ is already pushing them out. Right. So I might get away with being able to use the factory studs and everything, use a five spacer. And with the OZs, might give it a good look without going too crazy. We'll see. More importantly right. is the tires. I want to get wider tires to yeah. put up with the power as I progress, you know. Let's, uh, I'm just going to start talking about some comfort stuff. And I want to do what you've done, which is the exhaust valve system where you can have it open and closed, but you also have no muffler or resonator, but like you have a muffler, but it can go through or not go through it. I need to do that because yeah, what I'm living right now, the neighbors are not happy with me. I literally roll my car out in neutral. I turn it off once I'm out the area. It's like, 
it's a whole ordeal. And I don't blame him. I could smell stuff because when my, my high flow cat's not heated up, it doesn't really do its job yet. Like once it heats up, it kind of keeps all the fumes and it does what it's supposed to do. Other than that, it almost sounds like it's like completely catless and you just smell everything. It's bad. Um, and I talked about coilovers, but I think I would like to, when I get to there, get like one of those Olin's things where you can adjust the dampening level and, you know, mm-hmm. but, but, but springs and suspension is a whole other thing. So I want to take my time and learn about it before I just yeah, go exactly. off and get them. Cause the Olin's are about two grand. That's kind of ridiculous for me. I think maybe for a grand, I know that there's a lot of other options for a grand that are pretty good. Um, so I'll have to see about that. What's some comfort stuff you might be looking to do if any on your car? Comfort stuff. Uh, I, mean, I mean, this is more for me because I'm the one with the complete, like I got drone sounds going on and everything with my exhaust right now. Would, what's the interior? There's like no place to put anything. So I'm trying to figure out some like phone holding device. Oh yeah. I, I put my phone like, you know, in the little cubby. Oh, what about your shifter? What about your like $100? Oh, yeah, no. Those Crazy are shifter thing, racing. <laughs> okay, thing. Maybe, yeah, I love doing those little types of things. The I like shifter, to do that too. Yeah, if not, because like put it this way, your car, when you're driving it, where you're inside the car, you know what I'm right. saying? Like that's your little yeah. cockpit. I want I want to be comfortable. I, I bought carbon fiber side mirrors and everything, but the problem is I'm sitting in my car, I don't see it. It's like yeah, I spent so all like, that money. Good. Yeah. No, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's no, no, no I was agreeing with you. Like, where do you spend most of yeah. your time inside? So steering wheel yeah. stuff and, and shift knobs. Like, exactly. I want to get an, do you like that shifter? Wheel. What was that? Do you like that shifter? The racing, uh-huh. racing oh, gang, yeah. gang, gang. <laughs> it's like racing, but with an easy racing. Ding, ding. It's comfortable, man. Like it feels good. It looks good. I heard it's it weighted expensive. too. And it's, it it's heavier. And it is it nicer to have a heavier shifter on that car? 100%. That's why okay. I like them. Like, I'm not going to lie. The one, the Stratos, which is the one I have, the red one, it's not that much heavier than stock. Yeah. I have another one, which is really freaking heavy. Oh, and this God. is going back to my Evos and M3s. I always put a weighted shifter. And when you're just going through gears, it's just like, you just flick Did your Did you also wrist, change you the boot? In. Did you get a different boot yeah. too? Yep. How'd you install it's, that? I got a freaking trim removal set on amazon for like 10 bucks and then just you know started being really careful not to break anything maybe it was a pain. You can walk me th- walk me through that because i'm thinking of doing an alcantara thing maybe yeah it's funny i recorded myself doing the freaking complete uninstall but it was so hard because like i had like cameras in weird positions yeah. like, i don't know if i'm going to turn it into anything but okay. it's it's a job it's you just have to be careful not to break the clips right. i did the entire thing myself and nothing Good. broke you know it's also nice for you because you went with red stitching with my classic. It's mostly white on black. It's stock already with like it's faux leather, white on black. Yeah. But I was thinking of changing the shifter. I, I found like a Mishimoto carbon fiber shifter, but the problem is it has a big M on it. And I'm not a fan of like these. So I'm telling you red line goods. Cause that's who I got my shift boots through. I've used them for over 10 years. My first okay. Evo, my second Evo, my M3. I Do they have any discount money. codes? Cause they're pretty pricey. Yeah, there's a 20% off code I have in my video. Like I do have a link for me because oh, wow. after after 10 years of using them and finally starting up a YouTube channel, I do have an affiliate link with them. Nice. You don't have to use it. No one has to use it. But if you want to support- Do they have a carbon fiber channel, shifter or anything like they that? They have leather. They have Alcantara. They have Napa leather. They have a carbon okay. fiber vinyl because it's a boot. It's not real carbon fiber, obviously. Carbon fiber vinyl. Oh, so I'm talking about the have, shifter part. You know about the shifter? I thought you were talking about the boot. I was, but now I'm talking about the shifter. I'm forget about the boot. Okay, shifter. I went with racing. You can go on their site. They got so many different things. The but the pricey. Uh, I was looking at Goodwin Racing. Black and, Friday. Okay, Black Friday next year. I guess I don't know. Twenty percent. Here's, here's off the thing. Pre-shift. Here's the thing that I just started finding out about is this thing called Delrin or Durinium. It's like a no, material. Delrin. Delrin. That's what a lot of the racing has. Delrin. It's like a. I think like a. Plastic. Yeah, Goodwin Racing also has it for like 50 bucks, whereas Racing has it for like more. And I found one on eBay for like 20 bucks with a non-branded Dell ring, but it doesn't look that nice. So, but I'm but I'm stuck. Do I go more performance with the Dell ring or do I go with like a carbony, weighty, something metally? Regardless, if you go with one or the other, I do. I like uh, weighted, so just make sure one of the two, because some people make like really light knobs, and then I don't think the like Racing the is. I don't know. I don't think the Dell ring one is weighted. I heard mixed things on weighted. Some people like the way it feels, but I heard it might make you more tired. So is it better for performance and sport driving? It makes you yeah, tired. I heard like it takes more energy because it's got more weight. Maybe no. I made that up. 
You it's, want lightness. No, it's literally you just flick it and the freaking thing just drops into the gear. Like it's so easy. So there's less because you know sometimes with the spider, there's a little bit of a resistance with it. Like sometimes That's what you it don't... take it takes it kind of takes that away. Oh, okay. Because it's weighted. So like you, you could also damage it worse if you don't know what you're doing, right? Like you go, you that's how you go from the whole worse. sixth to first, right? <laughs> oh God. I don't yeah, know how people do that. Talk, but you know, people complain weighted shift knobs damages the transmission. It's too heavy, yada, yada. Don't rest your hand on the shift. Yeah, head. but dropping the clutch damages it anyway. So who cares? I don't, yeah. I, I, if you want, you're going to find something to complain about if you want to freaking complain. Okay. About it. Whatever. I like weighted shift knobs. For, you know, for the shift knob yeah. that you got, you got some like rubber around it. That's optional, no, right? Or that's maple comes... leather, believe it or not. Oh, and it you got that it. optional? Well, the knob I got comes with Napa leather, and then you can pick oh. if you want to colorize it. I went with they call it translucent red. It's pretty sweet. It's not like a yeah. red. And then the Napa leather, because my shift boot is also Napa leather with red stitching. Okay. So they kind of intertwine together. The Abarth has the red tack. My seat has red stitching. Mm. It kind of just brings in a Can little you get bit it with red. white? With, with the boot or with the... Sorry, not the boot. The, yours is red. Can <laughs> I get that in white? Around. The, the shift yeah. thing, man. Yes. The, if you what go, I touch dude, with my fingers. If you go with racing, dude, they have like an infinite They have white? Things. Maybe I'll go with Anything. white. Dude, they have like white with, I don't even know what the hell, spark. Yellow would be cool too because I got this yellow thing with my calipers. I painted them yellow. So. And if you want, because I was debating on the two, they have a weighted one, which is it's metal with a Delrin screw-on cover and you can colorize the knob underneath. You got to check it out. I'm telling you. They got Maybe. I don't know. All right. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to get a rabbit hole in and of itself. Um, we talked about comfort. All right. The next thing I wanted to get in with you was um, I'm going to start this off and then I'll see what, what, what you give me your thoughts on this. But I'm going to talk mm -hmm. about things that I that I like and I don't like about the car community. And all of this, obviously, this is a little bit personal to a 22-year-old kid and, and maybe the young idiotic kids on the West Coast. But <laughs> some of the things I don't like about this car community is there's this whole like there's guys who are like, yeah, man, like this was built, not bought. And it's like, well, what happens if you bought and built? Like, why do we have to be all like team this or team that? And like I was saying in your, you know, the part one of this conversation, a lot of people want to say they're so much harder and more of a mechanic than they really are. And it, it becomes more of like a show off than like a just appreciate yeah, what the person ego. brought. They're trying to stroke their yeah. ego. They, they got a big ego. Like, oh, I'm a, I could do this. I did that. I have a buddy. He's really good at mechanics. And he starts saying, like, if you have a pop and gurgle tune that got tuned in, that's stupid. Mechanical real pops are better. Pick up a wrench. He starts saying, like, pick up a wrench. And he's, I'm like, all right, man, like, that's cool. But, like, last time I tried to do something, I, I messed up my engine. Check out my video on that. Whatever. Um, <laughs> but it's like, why can't we all just, like, lift each other up. Like I get you got a BMW group and you got this group, but it's like, you know, and then within the group of communities, like we we're talking about why you gotta, like, we don't hate on people who put a Santa Claus thing on the back of their U loop, whatever thing. So why you want to hate on us? Because we chose to make our cars louder than your spider, right? Like we're already a small community. Sometimes the teasing, it's like, it's ridiculous in the, and yeah. in, in the making fun of each other it's it's dumb because a lot of people don't get cars and we should all be lifting each other up not tearing each other down but uh things that i do like about the car community is it's nice to see how people like don't look at your looks your age like right now i'm talking to you you're all the way in jersey i'm in california we got like a, yeah a 12 year gap and you're talking to me i'm talking to you because of our passion with the similar thing which is which is cars which is fiat spider and I think that's a really cool thing about it is that you can connect with people that otherwise, like, what the heck do I have in common with these people other than glass? Very true. Right? Yeah. You can make some really good connections and friendships. And just like you were saying before, I think there's too much hate. Like, this should be a fun, passionate community of car enthusiasts. There's going to be the folks who work on it themselves. There's going to be the folks that do some themselves and some not. I think me and you kind of fit into that. And then there's going to be the folks who, like, use a dedicated shop all the time. Regardless, you're a car enthusiast if you're doing any of those because you're modifying your car at the end of the day. So like, there's no point to hate on the person who's dedicated to a shop or hate on the person who does it themselves or in between or whatever. And also, like you said, like me, myself, I'm not the biggest fan of people with the big wing, for example, but I don't go and comment on all of them saying, dude, that wing, you know, I hate it. Like why? <laughs> leave? Cause that's another like whole can of worms. <laughs> You get the person who comes down, all oh, that wing looks like, like why did you do that? 
Well, maybe he tracks the car. Maybe he right. wants to go and knock off a couple tenths of a second every so often. Like, hey man, maybe it's Tokyo Drift time. Okay, maybe it's Tokyo <laughs> yeah. Drift time. It could be literally because he just wants it for aesthetics. And even if it's yeah. that, let the dude be. If I don't like it, who cares? He's happy with it. But like right. someone, oh, why do you make your car loud? Well, it's more, I'm trying to make it fast and loud is like a byproduct of trying to make your car fast. Yeah, that's true. It's like, you know, why do you know? It's like, do I enjoy the sound? Yes. But I'm tuning it and I'm trying to make the exhaust as straight through to try and increase performance. It's going to be louder. It's what, like, one of the things I really like you know, about you, man, is, is your honesty. And also the fact that you've gone from German BMW, JDM with the Evos, German again with the Volkswagen. I'm probably forgetting another one of the car. Oh, American with the Corvette. And then you, you, you go with the Fiat. Like, I like that because that shows me that you're not in one group and you've had all these different cars. Like, you're not a fanboy of any yeah. particular thing. You're just all about experience, joy. And now you're giving it back to people. So thanks for coming on here and thanks for like, you know, check, I'm going to have a link to your channel, obviously. And, and the tire thing. Cause I think that's a good video you made. Um, yeah. I'm not trying to end it either, but I just, I don't yeah, know. No, I just no. need to say that. But no, I think no, it's like literally just ending. I'm all right. That's it. Bye, Pat. Oh. Although we, no, we haven't been talking for a long time. So if you, <laughs> we can end it too. It's, it's been a while. No, what else did I, you know, it's basically the car community. Like you said, I think yeah. we both agree that there just should be more like openness right. and not so much aggression on, you know, like when you put up your five dislike video, I know we talked about that. Yes. It's like, seriously, like people just came attacking you. Like, why do you have this car? If you dislike it, it's like, this is, it's not what the video is about. You know, like right. your video and is going to help other people who might be thinking about getting a Fiat, just, you know, the 124 showing them your experience, what you like, what you don't like. It's completely letting fun. them know that that there's not a big community of mechanics and that will work on the car. There's a little bit of very, difficulty. Very That's true. a real thing. Know about it. That's very true. Like I have that from experience, my Volkswagen, I have a shop down the street that was like dedicated to Volkswagen and Audi. Mm -hmm. When I had my Evo, they were dedicated to Evos, STIs, BMW, yeah. same way. Fiat, it's not that easy. There aren't too no. many and companies. People don't like talking about it, but, but it's true. But I, but I had a lot of people reach out to me and say, Hey man, if you call your compulsion, they have mechanics, they know in different areas they could have recommended you to certain places. To I go saw to, some so. on their site. Like there's one in New York called Elgato. For anyone who's in New York, they could definitely check them out. I know there's a guy, Mikey Turbo, shout out to him. He actually um has a phase three. Dude, he has a 500, but he's running the that phase That guy, did he do three. twin turbo? Wait, what? Mikey he Turbo, has, he's going to do twin turbo or something? Like, what are you, that guy's insane. He's on every video. I, he's got like crazy I haven't, I haven't heard that. <laughs> I know he has a 500 of Barth with a phase, what? Phase three with the 14. No, dude, he made like a promotional video. I swear I thought where he's like, I'm going to put I, twin turbo time. And I was like, holy cow. I don't know. I haven't heard that one yet. Yeah, I know he just got an Alpha know. 4C recently, which is going to be sick. So he's got a 500 of Barth with a 1446 plus turbo with a phase three or compulsion tune. And now we got an Alpha 4C mm. that he's about to tune up. So he's yeah. going to have a nice little pretty garage there going on. Um, yeah. I forget where the <laughs> was going. <laughs> no, I don't know. But I, I, I think I think this is a great spot to kind of come to an end. If you guys like this video, give a thumbs up. Check out Pat's video. If you're from Pat's channel, um, go back to Pat's channel. But if you want to like mine too, that's cool. Dislike it too. That's cool. Engagement's what I'm about. Um, you know, <laughs> I don't know if me and Pat will make more, but I, I hope so. I hope we can make yeah, more videos. Yeah, let us know. You know, I'm just break. Sorry to break. I'll just say, no, no, go know, for it. Interrupt me, man. Go because I talk too much. Comments, let us know if you like what yes. we're doing like this. This is something that we could potentially keep long term and, and maybe get new people on board too. Yes. And if, if you want to come on Zoom with us and, and be a part of this chat and tell us, hey, man, I don't like what you said about this. I have, you know, this to give, you know, or let us know. I don't know what I'm saying. Also, comments, comment a question. Maybe we can do a QA sesh. Um, we're trying to just brand out and, and talk to this community because there is a, there is a big fiat community. It's just that it's like a lot of people aren't coming out because they haven't seen anyone else come out. And it's like, everyone's yeah. almost like in hiding almost like there's a few people coming out, but I think there's a lot more people who like fiats that just haven't been vocal yet. And mm -hmm. a lot of people thinking about these things, 
And I mean, like Pat got his, I don't want to throw the price of his personal stuff, but we covered it in part one used for 22. If you're looking on used, I think the 500 of Bart's and these spiders are like going for yeah. stupid deals right now. Yeah. And, um, Dude, yeah. I, have a, I have a friend in New York. He's about to pull the trigger on an Abarth. He doesn't drive manual, never learn, mm-hmm. never wants to. So he's going to be getting an automatic. Fine. Um, yeah. But he might be picking one up soon, uh, uh, 124 Abarth. And uh, wow. when he does, that might be nice to do some test stock versus tuned. Because I'll have be... a friend. I'll have a friend completely stock. Yes, it's automatic. And like, auto versus stick. I, th- I like to see auto versus stick on that and yeah. see what the deal is. That'll be fun, you know, if you All get right. it. So uh, Pat's uh, Instagram is going to be down below. His YouTube is going to be down below. Be sure to uh, hopefully you've seen part one, or if you haven't, excuse my burp, you should check out part one uh, driven district. Any other plugs, any other things? Uh, what's your Facebook? Uh, we'll have your Facebook. Not, down. Yeah, I got to put the links below. You know, I'm going to be launching my website soon, which is going to have a lot of different stuff and I'm going to be doing wow. a ton of giveaways soon. So obviously if you guys are watching this, I would greatly appreciate if you guys subscribe and I'll be officially announcing when it launches just to touch base on it, the red line goods shift boots, I'm giving away a complete set. It's over a hundred dollar value. When I bought my shift boots through red line goods, they sent me the wrong color. They good customer service. What, what color? The right, so mine right now are black Napa leather. With Why don't you just give that to me? Mine is black. I'll Napa take it. The it's one done. That got, you don't even know what color it is. Bada bing, bada boom. It's how we the do one, it in Jersey, baby. <laughs> The one they sent me was black Napa with black stitching. So the only difference was it was oh, black beautiful. stitching instead of. I know. need that. This, it's done. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that giveaway soon. It's both the shift boot and the e brake boot completely free. How do I'll we pay win it? And everything. How do you win it? Once I grow my YouTube closer to a thousand. So go subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram, and then I'll host a giveaway where someone Just give will it win to it me. Just, completely yeah, free. If you win, they're going to know it's rigged. Just give. <laughs> No, then they know it was fair because why it wouldn't be. Yeah, whatever. No, um, jokes aside, thanks for watching this far. We are out. All right. See you guys in the next one.